All right, so now we got Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley to the Tennessee Titans on a four-year, $92 million deal. Mm -hmm. And social media is just losing their mind because they don't understand why Calvin Ridley was able to get this deal and not A.J. Brown. And people, you know, they, they, they always look at things for what it is right there in front of them. They don't do their homework and understand what was going on. But for me, I think this was a good pickup for the Tennessee Titans. Yes, if you could have kept A.J. Brown, that would have been awesome. But here's right. the thing. When A.J. Brown was traded and signed to the Philadelphia Eagles, their stats was pretty much the same. Calvin Ridley just had over 1,000 yards in his first season with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars after missing the whole entire season last year, right? Mm -hmm. A.J. Brown, same situation when he was with Tennessee Titans. 1,000 yards, just over 1,000 yards. We could blame the quarterback. We can say it was Ryan, Ryan Tannehill or, you know, whoever, whatever, you know what I mean? But it was the same amount of stats, same amount of yards. Now, A.J. Brown goes to the to Philadelphia Eagles and starts lighting it up. He starts going crazy. And the difference is, yeah, he's a playmaker. Jalen Hurts and him made a great connection. That's what they're hoping that Calvin Ridley can do the same thing with Will Levis. And now we're waiting to see how Will Levis will develop because Calvin Ridley is a good player. What I like about one and the difference what I like about the other, Calvin Ridley and A.J. Brown, is Calvin really? He creates separation in his route. Mm -hmm. he, when he runs his routes, he sticks his foot in the ground. You know, he, the quarterback has a little more room, and it's easier to find these open targets. Whereas AJ Brown is just a playmaker. It don't matter right. if he's open or not. Throw the ball up, get the ball to AJ Brown, and he's gonna make the plays. And that's how he's been able to to uh, admit over fifteen hundred yards over at the Philadelphia Eagles in his mm -hmm. first couple of seasons. You know what I mean? So, you know, y'all gotta they gotta relax. On Twitter, you know what I mean. Right. They always think everybody think they genius on Twitter can figure out every every situation, and all the scenarios, and they have the greatest take. So let's tweet it out. Let's make some graphics and things like that. What you think about Calvin Ridley? Well, well how, how you feel? Man, about man, looking back at him, I always thought he was an explosive player. He was just like that. You ever see like that type of player? Similar to like um when um Deshaun got to um the Eagles, he was just that type of fast, explosive. Just player, exciting player. The mm -hmm. only thing that really took away from his career was that um that gambling thing that he got in trouble with, where he got suspended. Right, right. That that really knocked his kind of eliteness off of the mark. And you know, for y'all that don't know, he got suspended for gambling or betting on games, which he was part of the games that he was betting on. Right. The whole well, season all... last year, the whole season he was suspended, <laughs> so he didn't even right. play. I call it the comeback of the year because for you to come back and hit them like that, it's like, were you that great or were you just kind of like continuing your path that you was on? And you already know he went 29th pick. Um, yeah, he went 29th pick in the first round. Well, 26th pick in the first round, right? So he got that first round talent, and he was producing in Atlanta. He was, he was great. So now he goes down there to Jacksonville, gets over a thousand yards. He 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 got a thousand yards, right? Seven six catch for a thousand and sixteen yards. So what kind of surprised everybody, I think, is because he can't Jacksonville, you're not getting a lot of pubs. So they really like we haven't been seeing Calvin Ridley like that. If he was coming out of Atlanta, not getting out of trouble, you would probably have him on Julio Jones left. Coming out of Jacksonville, thousand yard receiver. Who is this guy? But looking at the particular player in particular mm -hmm. that dude is explosive man like you said he can he can he can get out of breaks in and out he can take a yard he can mm -hmm. he can he can he can do everything so i get it and don't don't look at the 90 million you know i'm always got to talk contract talks with you my boy and at right. the end of the day i'm not saying it's chump change but it's right. not a million dollar contract it's a 50 million dollar guarantee over four years which equals 12.5 million a year which is amazing <laughs> But right. it's not a hundred million dollar deal. So it but he I think he deserves it. And I think versus AJ Brown, yeah, it's it's just a non thing that they making something out of it on Twitter. I think it's a good move for, for Tennessee. And plus, yeah, I think Will Levis, he got that Brett Favre in him. He was a gunslinger and he right. likes to throw that ball over the field. So he's gonna throw it up and let Calvin go get it. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty lit over there.